What's going on YouTube, Bird here, and in today's video, we are going over the Warglaive and my in-game two-handed melee weapon build to go along with it. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button with a false 76, can we can see this? And subscribe for more false 76 content. Let's get into it. <laughs> Starting off everything, these are my base stats for my in-game Warglaive build, so if you want to build the exact build that I'm using for the video, this is the start. Now let's get into the legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are all the legendary perk cards that make the build. As you can see, they're not all max, so there's definitely some room to grow here. But starting off, we have Luck at 2 stars, Endurance maxed out, Intelligence at 2 stars, Strength at 1 star, Hack and Slash maxed out, and Collateral Damage at 2 stars. Now these are all the legendary perk cards I make of the build, now let's get into the normal perk cards. Over the normal perk cards, these are all the normal perk cards I make of the build. Starting off in strength, we have 14 and this so we can have Barbarian at 2 stars. Every point of strength adds a plus 3 damage resist, max 60, no power armor. Then we have all the Slugger cards at 1 star to get a plus 30% of damage. Then we have Martial Arts maxed out. Your melee weapons weigh 60% less and you can swing them 30% faster. Then we have Incisor maxed out. Your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor. Then we have Blocker maxed out. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in Perception we have two and this so we can have Grenadier maxed out. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius and this works with collateral damage. Over in Endurance we have 10 and this so we can have Ghoulish maxed out. Radiation now regenerates even more of your lost health. We have Adamantium Skeleton maxed out. Your limb damage is completely eliminated. We have Fireproof maxed out. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical maxed out. The greater the Raz, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. Over in Charisma, we have 9, and this so we can have Lone Wonder maxed out. When adventuring alone, take 20% less damage and gain 30% AP regen. We have Field Surgeon maxed out. Stimpaks and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 3 and this so we can have Nerd Rage maxed out. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% of damage, and 15% AP regen. Over in Agility, we have 14 and this so we can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Gun Fu maxed out. That swaps targets on kill with a 10%, 20%, then 30% of damage to your next 3 targets. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a 10% to max 60% damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Dodgy maxed out. Avoid 30% of incoming damage at the cost of 30 action points per hit. Over in luck we have 14 and this so we can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glory red pace. We have better criticals maxed out. Vats criticals now do a plus 40% to damage. We have Serendipity maxed out. While below 30% health, gain a 45% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's ranged damage, no PvP. And we have Starge Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from Rads and right away will never cure your mutations. But this is it. This is my in-game two-handed weapon that I'm using with my Warglaive. And now, let's get into the Warglaive. Over in the weapon, this is it. This is my three-star legendary Warglaive that I use for the demonstrations. And the main legendary effect is the Bloodied Effect, which is damage increases as your health decreases, has the plus one to strength, and also has the 40% more power attack damage. This Warglaive is deadly. And over in the mods, what I'm using is the Plasma Blade, which adds energy damage and also the plasma crit effect which is absolutely amazing because all i'm trying to do is get those crit effects but then we also have the shocking blade which you could use which is adds electrical damage we have the flaming blade targets burn for five seconds adds fire damage and we also have the cryo blade target freezes causing reduced movement speed for three seconds adds cryo damage you can choose any of these because they're all pretty good but what i'm going with is the plasma blade 
but this is the Warglaive itself. Now let's get into some more demonstrations. Uh-oh, we got ourselves some Snallygasters. Look at him. Oh no, he's attacking someone else. Who's he attacking? <gasps> Four person. I could have saved him. You stupid Snallygaster. Is it a Grafton monster against a Snallygaster? What's going on here? Grafton monster versus Snallygaster. I want the kill. I want the kill. Stupid Snallygaster. Oh, so you're the one that wants to fill the fierce power of the Warglaive. Fierce power. Let's do it. I will defend my home. They don't understand the power of the Warglaive. Face on. Everyone meet Cletus. In the stomach. Oh, I can't see anything. There's water everywhere. Let's bring him to the shoreline. Bring it on, Cletus. You miss, you loser. Oh, God. He didn't miss that time. Look at him. He's ready. Go. Ooh. You ready for fireworks, Cletus? My face. He's nothing more but goo now. Oh, I smell another Grafton monster. Where is he at? Is he over here? Grafton monster, you come out. There he is. I'm not going to tell him what I did to the last Grafton monster. I'm going to kill the Grafton monster. Oh, in the arm, in the leg, in the face. Oh, poor, poor Grafton monster. 